In this video, we'll go step by step on how to service your boat lift. From all the tools needed to get it done, to accessing and servicing those components to ensure your lift runs smoothly through the entire season. Let's get to it. Before you service your lift, you want to make sure that you've got all the right tools. You'll need an extension ladder or step ladder, depending on the type of lift you have. You'll need a grease gun, and you'll need a rag to wipe off the excess grease. High Tide offers their boathouse lifts in a single motor or double motor configuration. A single motor configuration will have a center or a side mount drive pipe and will have pulleys on each side. A double motor configuration will not have the pulleys and simply has a drive pipe on each side with two motors. On the double motor boathouse lift or a side mount single motor boathouse lift, you can use a step ladder to access the side drive pipes. If you have a single motor center mount boathouse lift, you'll need an extension ladder and your helper to help hold the bottom of your ladder to access the center drive pipe. You'll have a grease fitting on each end of your drive pipe support, and you'll have one on your pulley depending on the type of lift you have. After you've located all of your grease fittings, you'll want to take your grease gun Apply it to the grease fitting, give it several pumps. Try not to give it too much grease or you'll end up with grease coming out the end of the drive pipe support that might drop on your boat. After you grease your lift, you want to make sure that you check all of your fasteners, make sure that all of your fasteners are tight, make sure that your pulleys are spinning free. You want to inspect your cables, make sure you don't have any frayed cables or bad spots. Your high tie lift comes standard with aluminum groove cable winder. If you happen to find slack in the cable and the boat's not on the lift, you can usually manually work that cable back down into the grooves. If your boat is on the lift and you do find slack in the cables, you'll want to lower your boat lift until the boat's floating and then you can manually work that cable back down into your aluminum groove winder. On your single motor boathouse lift, your lifter beam will have a pulley and a grease fitting here that you'll need to grease. On your double motor boathouse lift, on your lifter beam, you'll have a dead man with no grease fitting. On your high tide boathouse lift, you'll have a sealed oil bath gear drive that requires virtually no maintenance. You'll have the option of a Piranha remote control, which is highly recommended. It comes with a wireless key fob and a keyed on off switch for security. On your high tide double motor boathouse lift, you'll have a leveling switch. This leveling switch, when you depress it, it allows you to interrupt power to one side, and then you can use your up-down switch to level your carriage. Anytime you're working around water, you'll always want to make sure you've got a helper for safety. 